of course, the market was uh, tepid on Tuesday. It was negative on Monday. So what's happening? Uh, Rotimi Fakaejo from Enterprise Top Brokers. Rotimi, good morning. Thanks for coming uh, through on the phone. Uh, Rotimi, if you can hear this conversation, uh, good morning. I can hear you. Thank you very much. Now let's get, let's get the show started. Uh, two days of the markets in the water. Uh, where is the, this negative sentiment? Is this just profit taking before we finished off September? Or this is going to be a long walk in the dark into the fourth quarter? Well, um, it's, not, uh, it's not going to be a long walk because I, I see you see that there's likely to be a reversal next year. And uh, today may just mark the beginning of that in a very little way. How do you mean? Uh, wh what I mean is the, the tide might turn today. We may not see much of sell down in some securities as we saw majorly in uh, FBN holdings yesterday. And uh, we may not necessarily see that happening also in industrial goods. We've been seeing Lafayette coming down. So there is likelihood that, uh, that we might have a, a stability in that today. And maybe one or two small gains in some securities, and that may make the market to close positive. But when you look at the value and the volume done on daily basis, it means that uh, the liquidity in the market is very, very low for now. Liquidity is very low in the market. Yes, we understand that. But again, some folks still bought yesterday crossed 21 million units of GT Bank and about 3.1 million shares of uh, Ecobank Transnational. Uh, liquidity is thin, but looks like some folks won't let the banks go. They still think there's good money to be made in, in that sector. Uh, well, th there's a major belief in the, um, in the stock of Guarantee Trust Bank. And uh, there's also a major interest in Echo Trans International, ETI. So I think uh, those were the, are the things that are already playing out for those two securities. And uh, if not for the major transaction in uh, Guarantee Trust Bank yesterday, it would have been a major thing, uh, I mean, uh, in, a major drop in volume and value for the entire market as a close of market. But for that volume, we saw a major uh, lifting regarding, I mean, with respect to what we saw on Monday. Uh, well, to me, I believe that um, the interest will still continue, and um, we, there is every likelihood that um, at least uh, pending month end and quarter end, there is every likelihood that we are going to see at least a major lifting in the likes of uh, Dangode Cement and Nigerian Bills. So that definitely may be the uh, uh, major shift in the market next year. Yes. Okay, let's switch gear very quickly for the next uh, two minutes with the oil and gas. Uh, this has been a very steady decline in the share price of some of these big seven. Uh, Seplat, Oando is still there. Some shareholders protested, according to media reports yesterday, says they want Wally Tinubu out of the company. And that's what some media reports say. And, of course, uh, Total as well. So if we put this together, uh, what is the key issues here for these major or retailers? Uh, well, I think uh, it, it, it is no more news that the federal government is paying the oil companies uh, subsidy payment. And uh, we know what this does to their book every, at every time. Whenever the subsidy payment is released, we see a major boost in their P&L. And, L. and uh, maybe now that there is much pressure, the United Labour Congress is pressing hard and all of that, we hope that the federal government will yield a little for the survival of these companies and if they pay maybe a quarter or half of what they are owing, they definitely will see the uh, companies back in the blue. Uh, Rutimi, uh, that sounds like a very uh, nice suggestion. The government uh, is owing the uh, major oil market is about $2 billion. Uh, if they pay about, about half of that, that's about $1 billion. Uh, if you put that on the street, that's about $350 billion naira. That's quite a lot of money. Let's, uh, let's follow the money tomorrow when we come back on. That's to be Thursday, the 21st of September. Do have a great day, everyone. And thank you, Rutimi, from Enterprise Top Brokers for wrapping up the show today. Goodbye from Lagos, everyone. I'll see you again.